Hello everybody, it's Rose, and I'm back with the final unboxing of the 16 plus one package that arrived today. Uh, so 16 packages that arrived uh, while I was away on my cruise in December. Uh, so this is the last one, and as I was saying, I was trying to save the best for last. I sure hope this is the best. I gotta say, the last one I opened, the Cat Tapestry, that was pretty special. Um, I liked it and I liked so many of the others. Oh my god, I've been, I just love so many of the others that I got. Uh, this will be a disappointment if it's not as nice as some of those others. So this came from Wish and my name for it is, uh, let me just see what my name for it is. It's Large Peacock and Flowers and it's got special drills. Um, and I'll show you what's uh, what's large about it in just a moment. So um, let's see, when did this one come in? Okay, so I ordered this one on November 22nd. It came in uh, on December 22nd, which is not bad because uh, we had a postal strike in Canada during that point and stuff was held up for weeks uh, at, by the post office. So, um, so I actually think that was pretty good. And I gotta say, uh, my, this, is, this was my first order from Wish, was the cat tapestry that I just opened, and this one. And um, based on the cat tapestry, I'm very impressed with, uh, with what I got. Um, so I hope that this does not disappoint. This is from a different store on Wish. Um, this one, believe it or not, is the TTT ZJYTZ store? Um, I don't know. It looks like it looks like the kind of name that you'd come up with if your cat walked across your keyboard uh, and you decided, oh, I like that. Okay, so um, the packaging is fine. It's uh, different from the the one that I got from the other store on Wish. Um, but it looks it looks fine. It doesn't look like it's been crushed or bent or anything like that. It's a regular bubble wrap, not uh, the tubular bubble wrap. Um, so let's get into it and see what we will see. Oh, sorry about that. That was quite loud. Oh my. I'm just gonna cut away a little bit of this bubble wrap because I want you to see what I saw as a first glimpse of what's inside here. Whoops, I don't wanna cut the canvas. Yikes. Okay. So, this is what I see. I'm gonna blow that up a little bit. Look at that. I mean, white, white, white. And look at those blues and those iridescent colors. And I just opened it. Like, I haven't even gotten into it. Okay, let's put you back to the regular size. And let's get back to opening this thing. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so I gotta say the canvas feels um, not great, I, but I don't buy paintings for the feel of the canvas. Uh, what I'm more concerned about is the quality of the glue and the quality of the canvas. So before I show you what's on the canvas, let's take a look at this canvas. And there's a lot of canvas. This is supposed to be 120 centimeters by 51. So um, it's, it's big, 120 centimeters. Well, 30 centimeters is a foot. So 120 is four feet. Um, this is, oh my goodness. 
this just goes on and on and on, my friends. Uh, I'm going to set aside. Okay. All right. I got to give you another first impression of the diamonds. Because you guys all know how I love color and rich, vibrant colors. Ooh, look at There's those special drills. Okay. They're pretty. They're really, really pretty. Um, and it looks like the drills are all packaged, pre-packaged individually in, uh, and beautifully labeled. Look at that. The one with the underlining there. Um, okay, I think I'm going to be impressed. Please don't not impress me. Uh, okay, and we've got, um, these are round drills. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, lay this out on the floor and like lay the, the canvas out on the floor uh, when, it, when I get to, to that to show you the front and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, so this I've never seen before. They actually uh, wrap the drill kit in, uh, in bubble wrap as well, which I like that idea because what it does is it protects the sharp edges on the drill tray and the drill pen and so forth from potentially damaging the canvas. So that's very, very thoughtful. Um, so uh, let me tell you what I paid for this and all that. Okay, so large peacock and flowers, that's what, uh, that's what I call it. It's got special drills. Um, I told you the size, 120 by 51. It's uh, round. Uh, I ordered it on November 22nd. It arrived on December 22nd. So just about a month, but again, there was a, uh, a strike, a postal strike here in Canada during that period. Um, I paid $40 for this. So the painting itself was $39. Shipping was $9.50, but I got a Black Friday discount of $8.50. So my total cost was $39 plus one. So Okay, so I'm back. Um, I got interrupted by a phone call. All right, can't remember what I was saying before, but what I'm gonna do is, oh, I was going through the information here. So yeah, so I paid $40 for this. All right, um, and so as you see from the back of the canvas, this appears to be perfect, just perfect. Uh, let me measure. So I, I can see through. I can see through. It's 42 centimeters uh, high. It's supposed to be 51. I think 51 is the size of the canvas. Yeah, 51 is the size of the canvas. The actual drill drill area is 42. So let me just enter that. Um, in my tracker. Okay, so that tells me that the canvas is not going to be um, 120, it'll be a little bit shorter than that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm laying it down on the floor right now, um, and I'm going to move my camera. So that you can see what I'm, so that you can see what I'm seeing. So just bear with me for a moment, whilst I do that. So I'm gonna have to fold this back, I think, just to to start it, uh, un unwrinkling, but not unwrinkling because it's not wrinkled, but just to flatten it out a little bit, and then I'll be able to lift the plastic. Although there's an awful lot of plastic here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you can see actually. Okay, I'm not sure that I want to lift all of the plastic off of this. So I think we're going to do uh, something I've never done before, which is just do the video without lifting the packet, the, the, the plastic. Um, because I would hate to have this. 
stick to something else. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at how many colors there are. 61 colors. I have never had more than about 44 colors. So this already to me uh, seems like it's going to be a good diamond painting. All right, so, well, that's right to the tip of the, uh, hold on, let me angle this a little bit without losing you completely. All right, so that's the diamond painting. I'm gonna get out my heavy duty tape measure and uh, let's measure. Okay, so the canvas itself is 100 and, Eh, 19 inches. Uh, sorry, 119 centimeters. The drill field. Let's see. The drill field. I'm trying to flatten the painting as I go along. So the drill field is 112 centimeters, which is a very respectable size. That's a, that's a big diamond painting. Um, I suppose that could go over my bed, actually. Yeah, that could go over my bed. Huh, okay. Um, so let's take a look at now, okay. I have no idea what the Chinese symbols here are. So I'm actually thinking of if I can't get a translation of that, um, I might just not drill that with black. I might, uh, I might drill it with, uh, with whatever the question mark is, uh, 3756. Uh, and I just might use 3756. Hopefully there's enough spare to do that. Um, but if any of my viewers can tell me what the symbols mean in English, uh, I'd really, really appreciate it. So, um, I don't know if I can get any closer. I, I suppose I can take you off the tripod and just pan across the painting. So I'll do that. I hope I don't um, discombobulate you here. All right. So let's get down and take a look. And then I'll show you the drill field. So I thought this was really pretty. And I don't have a thing about peacocks, but it seems that I'm getting a thing about peacocks. I've been buying a lot of diamond paintings with peacocks in them because they're just so beautiful and I've never before in my life, oh look at that, it's got legends on both ends which is really nice, although I never used the legend after I uh, labeled the um, containers for my drills. Okay, so that is really pretty. Let me pull up so that you can see pretty much the whole thing. Yeah. That's pretty nice. I'll put a link to this painting in the description to the video, the text uh, below. And um, so if you're interested in it, you can get it. Um, it'll be a lot cheaper in the US than, uh, well, not necessarily cheaper, but with the exchange, it's not gonna be 40 bucks. Um, okay, so let's get down to the drill field. Now I hope my knees don't crack. Nope, they didn't. All right, so this is the drill field. Doesn't get much clearer than that. Now what I am going to do is just pull up a piece of the plastic to test for stickiness. Yeah. That should be fine. I mean, you know, as you pull away, even though that's super pixelated there, as you pull up, As you pull up, it's very clear that that's a peacock. And I'm only standing about, I don't know, 
I'm, I'm short. So this is probably about four feet off the ground. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be really nice. It's long. It's really long. Let's take a look at some of this drill field. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. It's it's clear. Everywhere is clear. Sorry, as I take a step, it because uh, I'm bent over. Um, as I take a step, I, I jiggle the camera. Yeah, those are those are very clear simples. Uh, I like it. They're all symbols that I will be able to um, name in my head. And then we've got a few of the special drills down here. Uh, so we've got a few AB diamonds. And then we've got the special shapes. I'm not sure where the special shapes will go. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Looks like the special shapes will go there. And where's the big star? Okay, and here. So it'll be the eye of the peacock feathers, tail feathers that have the special drills. So that's really nice. Okay, that's gonna look spectacular, I think. And it'll be fun to do. Okay, so I'm gonna pause you while I put you back, uh, while I put the camera back on the tripod and um, I'll set it up so that I can do the inventory of the drills. I'm going to have to take a picture of the legend, the legend, uh, since there's no, it, oh, you know what? I can actually, I could cut off one of the legends since I won't need it, but no, I won't. I'll just take a photocopy and, uh, and I'll mark it up. And I think I'm gonna need to make this is going to be two pages of uh, inventory. Okay, uh, which is which is good. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do that. Just uh, I'll pause you, and when I come back in a second, it'll it'll magically be uh, a piece of paper with a copy of the legend, and I'll be sitting at the table. Okay, so I'm back, and I think I forgot to talk about the uh, kit that came with the diamond painting. So before we do the inventory, I'll just go through that. So it's got your regular hmm, regular drill, drill pen. Uh, that looks like a, it's a seven placer uh, with a single placer on the other end. Uh, long skinny boat. And this one actually looks like it might be made specifically for round diamonds because the, oh geez, because the, um, the line, like the, the 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 lines there that help the drills line up, they they are wider apart. I think. Let me see. Let me pull out another one. Let me pull out another one here. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just making it up. Now I have to measure because it's going to drive me crazy if I don't. So, on the white tray, the dividers are four millimeters apart. On the green tray, okay, on the green tray, the dividers are four millimeters apart too, so they're exactly the same. So this one, uh, it has a little bit longer drill space, um, but it's not as wide, so uh, I'm not sure which one I'll end up liking better. We shall see. Um, which one's the ever moment? Oh, goodness, I've lost track of which one's the ever moment. Okay. 
Oh, it's not, it's not an upper moment. That was a mistake. Okay, so, and so what else comes with the tray? Uh, a large piece of wax, uh, a few labels, which is really nice. Um, because there's not, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's uh, nowhere near enough for the 60 colors, but it, it uh, will allow me to label most of the containers. Um, and they sent quite a few drill bags, which is really nice. Um, and actually, since they've got the bags all individually um, numbered, I don't actually have to use my regular containers for this. I can just pour drills out of the resealable bags that come with it. So, um, okay, all right. So I think that'll be, that's gonna be just fine. So I've got everything I need here. Uh, there's no tweezers because often with round paintings, you don't get tweezers because they're, they're not terribly helpful. And even if I do need tweezers to pull up a diamond or something like that, um, it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world because uh, I've got about 47 other kits, 46 other kits. Uh, of which probably 35 had tweezers. So I have more than enough tweezers. Okay, I have to pull my stool back. Well, it's a footstool, but anyway. Pull my footstool back to start the inventory here. And so what I've done is I've made two copies. Let me make sure this is all in here. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, I've made two copies of the inventory sheet. One of them, in case I do want to use my uh, my drill containers, I can cut up, uh, like I can cut up the symbol in the DMC and just paste it, or not paste it, but tape it to the container, uh, so that I never have to refer to the uh, legend again. And the other one, so I can do my inventory. So I will keep both in the package there. I will label both as well. Oh, what did I do with my pen? Oh, my pen, my pen. Anybody who lives in Canada who's been around for, I don't know, 30 years or so will remember kids in the hall and the, the government worker, I think at the one license bureau or something like that. And people come in and they steal his pen. So he keeps yelling, my pen, my pen, when people walk away with his pen. It's hilarious. Look up Kids in the Hall on, on logging and, um, and be prepared to laugh at, at Canadian humor. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. Okay, so this is large peacock and flowers. And this is wish. And it is the capital T, T, T. Z, J, Y, T, Z, store. Store is actually not in its name, so I'll just put that in parentheses. And I paid $40 for this, including shipping and minus discounts. Okay, so let's do the inventory. Oh my God, these are beautiful pictures. Um, you know what? I am only going to, I don't want to actually take them out of here because they are, they look so beautiful and they fit so beautifully in there. So I'm just going to um, check the numbers. So I got one. You know what? I'll take them out. I'll take a bit. I'll do about half at a time. There's a few little drills missing. Uh, there's a few loose drills in the bag, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Not too many. Not too many. So we'll just set that aside. And if I come across the bag that it comes from, and if I remember, oops, 
I'll put it back in there. Okay, so I've got 30. Uh, okay, so that's DMC 823. And there's a little stowaway in there. So how am I going to do this? 30. 29. Oh, okay, so. Oh, it doesn't tell me what the quantity is for each one. So literally all I can do is um, just see whether I've got all the right colors. So it's, it's literally an inventory of colors, not numbers. So there's a few missing, uh, not missing drills, but a few uh, stowaways in some of these bags. They're not airtight. Sometimes you get these bags. Oh no, they're not airtight. Because again, there's a hole drilled in every bag. It's smaller than a diamond, so the diamonds won't escape through that hole. But that avoids uh, some of the static cling that you get. And you can also tell if the diamonds are greasy, uh, which these are not. I'm trying to keep these beautifully lined up. Oh, and I also want to double check the seal on the bags. Uh, okay, so this is and I want to keep them in order as well. To make them going back into the bag as pretty as possible. 26. Okay, there's a loose drill on the outside of the bag there. 25. Oh my god, this is this is so easy when they're already pre um, pre prepared, if you will. Twenty-three and they're in perfect order. Twenty-two. And the drills all seem to be good quality. They're flat. Um, okay, there's a few missing here. That one I think came from here. Yeah, that came from there. So let's see if there's more. No. Have to remember not to use the same finger next time. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, these will be. Um, I, I don't need to. I don't need to do a kitting up process for these because uh, there's not that many of each color in each bag. At least not of these colors. So, oh, okay, we're getting into ones that there are more <laughs> in the bags. Um, Okay, so 17, 16, there's a lot of 16s, that's a beautiful green, 15, see now I see a little tiny, 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 tiny piece of trash, but it's not green trash, it's, it's stowaway trash, I don't actually see any other trash. And I don't see cut drills or misshapen drills. They all look really good. 14, oh, look at that pretty red, that's gorgeous. Okay, and, and my paper is yellow, by the way, because um, I have a ream of yellow paper uh, that I have to work through, and then I'll buy some regular white paper again. Drill on the outside. There we go. Twelve. All right. 
I'm spacing these out way too. Oh, 12. Okay. Wait a minute. What color is that? There's a loose drill here. I just want to make sure it's. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, I do like it when they pre-measure the drills for you. Uh, it, it makes absolutely everything easier. Uh, you don't have to kit them up, and then at the end, any spares, all you have to do is just stick a label on them with the DMC number, and you can put them away in your extra drill storage just like that. So there's, like, it's super simple. Well, that was 11 and I got 10 now. Nine. Okay, so there's a little tiny piece of trash that fell out of here through the little teeny tiny hole that the drills don't fall out. So I just have to, you know what, uh, I'll just set that aside. I don't want to scratch my floor with it. So. Okay, so that's nine. Eight. And they have sealed all of the bags very well. Sometimes there's a loose, like a drill on the outside of the seal, but, uh, but, the, but the bags themselves are all sealed really well. Okay, so I'm perusing these little blue ones because they seem like they might be smaller than, than regular drills. No, they're not. They're the same size as everything else. Okay, that's fine. All right. Oh, uh, seven. And I think this one is is that seventeen? No. I'm just trying to find the home for this missing drill. Oh, it's a sixteen. Yeah, it's a sixteen. Not a missing drill, sorry, it's a, it was a loose drill. Okay. It was just probably laying on the, lying on the uh, lip of the uh, closure. So there's seven, six, oh, see, I see one little tiny piece of trash here. And these ones are staticky. I can see them jumping around in there. Um, but no greasy ones. Okay, so this one here, these have got to be the three tens. Yep, they're the three tens. And, okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna hold it against the paper so that you can see. There is some, I'm gonna turn on the light. Come, the light's not coming on. Hmm. Interesting. I can't get the light on. All right. Well, I can't get the light on. Uh, but you see, uh, it, it looks like dust in there. Not so much trash as dust. Um. They flow well. They are staticky. They're dancing around in there all by themselves. Um, yeah, I wish I wish I could get the light on, but I don't know why. Anyway, okay, so I got lots of three tens. Oh, number four. Is, oh, number four is a beautiful red. Three. Oh, there's a pretty green stowaway in there. Two. Oh, a couple of drills on the, just outside the closure here. So let's, oops, let's let them drop in. Nope, they're dropping all kinds of other places. All right, oh my goodness. Oh, I ripped the bag, all right.
So this bag I'll have to replace, but that's okay. Uh, will I have to replace it? You know what? I'm going to put some tape on it. And maybe I won't have to replace it. It just, uh, the, the lip here tore just above the closure. So let's see if, oh yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, and one. Ooh, there's a bunch of, a couple of loose ones here. All right, it is, what time is it? It's 12.12 12, and I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast yet because I was so excited to get into this. Um, so I will have something to eat after I finish this inventory. Uh, okay, so I got one. So that's the first half. Let me see if it's still in scope. Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. And now I'll do the last 30. got a loose drill here that I, I would like to find a home for. Maybe it's one of these purples. It's this one. Yeah, that's a number two, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let me put... I'm going to put the first 30 bags into the bag, it's gonna take me a while, so I'm going to cut part of this out. Okay, so I'm ready to do the last 30 bags. Okay, so there's 31. There are a lot of them. That's number 890. 32. 
before. There's a loose one outside. Let's drop it in. Thirty-five. And I don't understand. There's more thirty-fours or thirty-fives than there are thirty-fours, but the thirty, the thirty-fives are in the smaller bag. Maybe it's a packing thing. I don't know. Okay, 36. Every single one of these bags has been well sealed, which is unusual because usually there's a few bags that are not well sealed. 38. Ooh, 40, look at that, that's a beautiful blue. And again, I'm not seeing trash or anything like that. These are all nice diamonds, very, very nice diamonds. Whoa, almost had an accident. has quite a few um, dr oops, drills outside of the seal. All right. I hope there's no other loose ones. 44. All right, and I have to put these now into the bag. It's a round stowaway. I thought it was a square stowaway. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Ooh, lots of lots of forty-nines. What's forty-nine? Thirty-seven fifty-six. That's a beautiful color of white. It's almost like a bluish, greenish. A slightly green white. Fifty. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, wow. I wish there was more of those. Fifty-one. But you know what? When there, when there's not more, like when there's just like an accent like that, it really pops in uh, in a painting. So. So I'm good. Okay, there's 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 is the 5200s. Uh, the pure white, that's gonna look really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put these away because the rest of them are all my special uh, ABs and um, and the special shapes. came down with a cough while I was in London. I hadn't been coughing before, but of course when I go down there, I wasn't coughing all the time, but I was coughing and I felt terrible because I was staying with the newborn 
preemie baby, and uh, he was he was all of four pounds fourteen ounces when I saw no four pounds eight ounces. He when he was born he was four pounds. Um, by the time I got there, which was uh, not quite two weeks after he was born, um, he was four pounds eight ounces. And when I left uh, the day after his two week birthday, he was four pounds, 14 ounces. So today when he goes in for his weighing, I'm sure he's gonna be five pounds. Okay, so let's take a look at the special drills. I call them special, but these are the, uh, the crystal drills. So I've got, I'll show them all to you in a moment as soon as I finish the, uh, the inventory. I just, ooh, uh, some of them, uh, sometimes there's some that are sealed just outside of the uh, package. So I don't want to uh, lose those because those are precious. So they have crystal drills and then they have AB drills. Um, which I guess the AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Oh, and oh my goodness. Okay, uh, I'll show you in a moment. Wow, these are really gorgeous. <laughs> Show you these specials. Whoops! Whoa! Lost my balance getting up. All right. I've uh, been sitting for too long. All right. So, wish I could. I wish. I don't know why I can't. I don't know why I can't turn on the light. But okay, I can't turn on the light, but I hope that you'll be able to see these anyway. So these are uh, sort of like a yellow, a goldy, a goldy yellow. You can't see them if I don't put them in view. Goldy yellow. And then more of a gold crystal drill. And then an orange. Crystal drill. And these are the blue Aurora Borealis. I hope this comes out better uh, when I look at this video later and when you see it than what it looks like right now as I'm looking through the camera. Okay, so these are the, the white AB diamonds. What number is that? 59. <clears throat> 5200 AB. Okay. Uh, and they are going to be just gorgeous. Okay, they're also very staticky. Look at them. They're dancing around in there. They're dancing. Okay. Um, and then these are the eyes of the peacock feathers. Look at that. I've never seen this sort of thing before. That's gorgeous. And then they have these, which are more like gems um, for the other peacock. And they're beautiful too. And I think there's plenty of extra of both of them. Now, I'm just going to check online here since I have Wish opened. Uh, and I'm going to see whether this diamond painting is still available. Yes, it is. Okay, so um, so there is. Uh, it's still in stock on Wish. Uh, I'll include the link below uh, in the comments below. Um, just look down, and uh, it's still selling for thirty nine dollars. Although what it's telling me is instant offer. Add to cart right now to unlock a lower price. So I'm just going to click on 
buy to see what the price is. Okay, so the price is $37, but shipping would be $16. Now, I don't know if that's because Wish is shipping using a courier because Canada Post had told all international uh, mail uh, organizations to stop sending parcels to Canada through the regular post. Um, so maybe it'll be free shipping later on. But for right now, from Canada, uh, the shipping is $16. So this painting would cost $53 to somebody coming from Canada, or somebody in Canada. I don't know what it would cost elsewhere in the world. Uh, when you watch this video, you might want to go on, click on the link below and see where it takes you and see what the price is. Uh, I'd be interested in knowing if you want to let me know, okay? So that's that. Uh, the, the diamond painting was perfect. Uh, the drills look perfect. Um, that's a lot of canvas to fill. So that it's going to take me quite a while to do that. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Uh, but I hope, I hope that I get very proficient with the multi-placers. Because, um, because I've got a lot of diamond paintings to fill. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's it. I want to thank all of my subscribers for your loyalty. Um, I love receiving your comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your thoughts with me. Um, and I try to respond to every comment. Sometimes it's just with a heart, but uh, I do want to respond to every comment. And uh, yeah, because I want to be responsive to you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you have not heard the last of me. And, um, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I hope you join me on my future videos. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you do that now? And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Hit the thumbs up key. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great and glorious day.